Mestre Imortal. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. We sent it inside Ladies the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. He has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they set. Great punch landing with so much power. Tie. 
right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, huge knees to the head. He's much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Good jab. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Comes through with a big knee. Oh, nice jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. It's a watch his punch. I just put a smile on my face. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Got the single collar tie. He gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Right hand on point. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, single collar tie here. Massive knee to the body land. Oh, and there is another knee. He throws that knee almost as if it's a punch. He's landed several in this round. Now you can see some of the damage really starting to show on his opponent. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> oh, big elbow. <laughs> Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Submission defense there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice right hand. Keep it busy here on the clinch. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Look at the turtle in that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with a beautiful leg kick. These guys come together. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Back to the feet. Lands the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Nice punch here. Both guys have absorbed a lot of punishment here tonight. Exciting fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
big knee lands there. That knee hurt him. He got him. Oh, a little single collar tie there. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Lee. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh. <laughs> Just misses with the left hook. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Back and forth we go. Ooh, big shot to the body. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. Oh. Well, he's really starting to land a high number. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Look like it might have been. Oh, more. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Nice straight punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Visibly limping here. Ooh, blocks the shot. Man. in here, DC, and... Well, you gotta start clearing those hooks right away, or he's gonna start to try to attack the rear choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying down. He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Left hand punch with the clinch. And there comes the separation now. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way 
that this fight is going. up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. The lead gets caught with that punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, a huge block there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. They continue to exchange. Oh, big punch land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Just over three minutes to go now. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice leg kick land. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. This fight team, the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on Robbie Lake. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen it often. Maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. I want to take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliotta has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 35 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that.